Hello designers, welcome back to another video on adding audio to your Figma prototypes. And if you remember in a previous video, I showed you how we can add videos to your prototypes. And if you haven't watched it, do check the card on the top right somewhere here. So based on that, I received a couple of DMs asking me how we can implement sound using the same feature in Figma. And as you know, sound plays a very important role in providing feedback to the users or also catching the attention of the user. For example, you hear a sound when you get a notification, right? That is basically to catch your attention or also on the launch of an app you have a sound played on the splash screen this is again for brand recognition or also a success sound on completion of a task right so once you complete a payment on google pay or anything like that you get a small sound that gives you feedback that the payment has been successful so i created two examples which are basically two methods that you can use to implement sound in any scenario for prototype so the first one is to play sound when you navigate to a screen and the second one is to play sound on click of a button so first let's quickly see a demo of these two scenarios and then we can can jump right onto the tutorial so as you can see here i have a payment screen where i have to enter the amount and click on send so once i click send there you go you heard of success sound and you can see that this, this is a success page so that is the first scenario now moving on to the next one here as you can see i just have a button and on click of the button you hear the sound right so as many times as i click the button you hear the sound so now that we saw the demo without any further ado let's jump right on the tutorial and see how we can create this so as you can see, I already have some designs on our file right here so that we can directly jump onto the main part of the video that is how to add an audio and the interactions related to it. And for that, the first thing we got to do is add the audio file into Figma. And also the first thing you'll notice is that Figma doesn't support MP3 or WAV format, which are nothing but the default audio formats, right? And for that reason, we'll have to do a workaround or a hack that is bring in the audio file as a MP4 file. So if you don't have an MP4 format of the sound that you want to use, you can just go to to google and search for free converters like this and just drop in your mp3 file and it'll give you an mp4 format of it or you could do this on your own as well uh, by using any video editor and just put a blank background to your audio file right and that should be enough to use this uh, method and i already have a file right here if you can see this is a gpa sound that i downloaded and if i play this so it's just a success sound, right? Which uh, Google Pay gives on payment success. And as you can see, I just have a dummy background of a Google Pay logo here. And this is the audio that we'll be using. So all you gotta do is just click this and drag it into Figma and that'll get added as a layer. If you see the fill of it, it is video and that is how Figma plays video files inside its prototypes. And also one important thing to note is adding videos to Figma is available only on the Pro and the Teams plan and it's not available on the free plan. So just keep an of it and since we want to play this inside the first scenario i'll just bring it right here so the moment to play sound in this scenario is on click of send button i want to navigate to the screen and there should be that success sound on the screen right so this is a very simple scenario to implement uh, so all you got to do is just place this inside the screen or this frame right here and reduce its size right for the moment i'll just keep it here and i'll show you how we can hide this and implement it properly but for now i'll just keep it here and we'll add the interaction so i'll go to prototype and on click of this button i will link it to the next screen everything looks good right so for now we'll leave it at instant and everything looks good so let's go ahead and play this i click on the play button right here and here we are on the payment screen i click on send as you can see this is continuously looping right but the sound is playing so that is good so let's go ahead and fix this so that is happening because the loop is set on the video, right? So if I click on this, you can see that the looping is on. So if I turn this off, now it should be better. Let's go ahead and play it again. So we are on the payment screen. I click send. And there you go, you heard the sound once. So that is good as well. And now the thing what, what we got to do is hide this, right? So in terms of hiding it, if I turn the opacity to zero, what I noticed is the sound doesn't play. So there is only one option left for us that is to hide this from the screen. And the best way to do it is just click it and drag it outside the frame, right? So while you're dragging, make sure you press and hold the spacebar key so that it doesn't grow out of the frame. So if I can show you that, if I click and drag it out, it just goes out of the frame, right? But in case I use space bar while I drag it stays inside the frame and it gets clipped out of here right so since our clip content is on it is clipped out of the screen and we are not able to see it but now if we go ahead and play this I click on send 
we heard the sound once and that is perfect right so that is scenario one where you want to play the sound on entering a new screen or do you want to do it on let's say on a logo or a splash screen so once the app is launched you want a sound of the brand to play so all these scenarios can be done with this particular thing that is just drag and drop the audio file into your screen and that's it that is how we can implement it now moving on to the second scenario and now moving on to the next scenario that is you want to play the sound on click of a button right so let's see how we can implement that so I'll just go ahead and copy the sound file from here. I'll bring it onto the screen. In this scenario, I want to click this button and the sound should play, right? So let's see how we can do this. So for that reason, we need to create an interactive component so that we can keep repeating it instead of having multiple screens, right? So for that reason, I'll take this button outside so that we'll start by creating an interactive component. And since we want the sound also to play in the same interactive component, we also want to drag and drop this inside the same frame. But I don't want this to be visible on the screen. The same technique that we used before so I'll press the space button and I'll move it outside the frame right but for the scenario let's make it visible by using the click content off and now it's visible so now let's convert this into a component press this button it's a component now and now I want to add a new variant to it so I click on variant I click on the plus button and it has added a new variant as well so let me just expand this so that it's properly visible so there you go we have the components ready and this is the button on click of it we want to play it so so the first time the button is here, you want the audio to not auto play, right? So or else as soon as you come into the button, it starts to play. So in the first scenario, we want this to be turned off. And now on the second scenario, we want the audio to play. So in this one, the auto play is enabled, which is correct. All we got to do is add interactions to it. So again, I go ahead here on click off this button, change to the next variant where the audio is playing. Everything looks good. And then you want to button to reset back again, right? Because once you're in this state, you can't play it again so this button has to go back to the previous one but this would be after a delay right so our audio is playing for let's say like one second so i want a delay of let's say one second which is nothing but thousand milliseconds and here one more thing to notice is you want to reset the video position right because once you start playing it again it will start playing it where you paused it right so make sure you enable the reset video position so that every time it resets back to this button the audio duration is also reset right so make sure you enable this and the rest of the thing looks good so let's delete this button here and put an instance of this so i press on option or alt and drag an instance of it into the frame so let's see how this works i click on the frame i click on the play button and here we have it so i click on this as you can see on every click it plays a sound right so that is how we can implement it on a button but again we want to hide this which is pretty simple again click on the frame here as you remember we turned off the clip content just turn it back on and that's it the audio or the video file won't be visible to the user and everything else looks good so i played back again and the sound works pretty good on every click so that's it guys those are the two methods which i believe you can use it for almost all the scenarios where you want to implement sound on your prototype and if you think i missed any scenario do let me know in the comments below i will check if that's possible to implement on figma and i'll make a new video out of it so that's it for this video guys i hope you liked it happy designing and thanks for watching